Hey everybody, it's the Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel and I'm going to be doing another, um, my monthly uh, art recreations that I've done from my calendar. So, of course, it's April, so this is the April one. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this painting. This painting, I actually used some old Avon jewelry that I had ordered and I had glued it onto the original. And as well as I made this uh, out of clear beads little head piece there and then that's an earring stuck on the end and uh, I want her to be really ethereal because when I think of diamonds I think of real ethereal looks so um, that's how I painted her and that's what I wanted her to look like and I wanted her to have like a deep lip because she's got a very soft silver eyeshadow so I'm gonna be recreating this one also if you want to take a look at my last ones I have done you know since January um, I will uh, post those links down below. So let's get started. First, say I already did my face, I already did my brows, so I'm going to actually put a little bit of a transition color in it. Um, just so that I won't look so washed out, I guess. Because I don't want to have to put just that color on there. It's And I, and I, I am using a little bit of a one palette. I'm using the Chocolate Palette by Too Faced, the chocolate bar. Um, I'm going to be using a very light transition color just to put depth in my eye and I'm going to be using salted caramel that color right there I'm just gonna place it into the crease it's just to kind of warm it up to balance it out I mean um, I usually go according to the paintings but I don't want to look too washed out so I just want to add just a little bit of warmth the tiniest bit. I'm going very light-handed on this. See, just just a tiny, tiny bit. You can barely see it. And then I, will, I want to add a little bit of shine to the brow bone, so I'm going to be using um, what is this color again? So I hate how I have to keep looking at this uh, champagne truffle. This color. I'm going to place that in the brow bone just to add a little bit of shimmer to the brow bone. Okay, that's all I want to do with that chocolate bar. And I kind of want to smell chocolate today. Alright, so let's work on the lid color. And I'm going to be using this Avon Glimmer Stick Chromes. It's in Flashy Steel. I don't know if Avon still sell these. I've had this for a long time, so. I'm going to be placing that as a base onto the lid. I'm just going to be smudging it out with my finger. It's just to really make that silver color that I'm going to put on pop. And I'm only taking it on the lid, I'm not taking it into the crease. I'm just going to smudge that with your finger. like so that's all you do it's just to add a base and just to make it really 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 bright so now I'm gonna take my Urban Decay electric palette it's got a really nice silver in there it's the color revolt I'm actually stick my finger in the purple I'm going to go with my flat brush again what did I do with it this is my little flat brush here. I'm going to take that silver and pop it onto the lid. See, it really, really is silvery. beautiful metallic look to it so it's perfect for this look I'm just doing padding motions just to 
really pack that color on. Okay, so I'm going to take my blending brush, which I threw over here somewhere. I swear I keep losing stuff. And I'm just going to blend it through, just to soften the edge. to reference to my painting again because I can't remember. I think I did pull the color up a little bit more into the crease. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that up a little bit more into the crease. But I'm going to take my blending brush so it's not so harsh and just do a soft, bring the silver up softly up into the crease like so. And see, silver on me it looks a little weird. So I'm going to actually bring some depth into my um, look. So stay right. Okay, so now I'm going to actually take my smoked palette from Urban Decay. And I'm going to pop mushroom into that. Because I don't want it to be too, like, dark. So I wanted to just pop a, l a darker, maybe a shade or two darker than what the silver was just so I can add some depth to my eye and it doesn't look make me look too like washed out. I'm just popping that onto the outer crease with my blending brush. Just blending those edges out. Oh, this one looks a little bit more lighter right there, and then it looks darker. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another flat brush, a softer flat brush, and I'm going to take a kinky, which is that very pale nude color so that I can just blend those edges out just a little bit more so it doesn't look too like dark right there. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to now um, take my liner Again, the Avon Glimmer Stick Chromes in Flashy Steel. I tell you, this is old, so I don't even know if it's still around. And I'll pop that onto the lower lash line. Like so. And then I'm going to Take this, it's a weird brush. It's like a round brush. It's weird. And I'm just gonna smudge it out. Okay, that's all you do. And then I'm gonna take a, a liner, well, a tiny flat brush. It's a tiny one. Um, and I'm gonna take that silver again from the electric palette and pop it down on my lower lash line. Okay, so to add more depth, I know that the look has kind of a dark uh, 
water lines, so I wanted to pop some black in there. So I'm going to be using my Urban Decay 24-7 in Perversion, and I'm going to pop that into my water line. So bear with me out as I do this. I love this color as a waterline color. It just pops in there. But I do like to set my... If I use an eyeliner on my waterline, I like to set it with a black shadow because my my eyes just don't hold dark colors for some reason on my waterline. So I'm going to take black out from the smoked palette. Oops, sorry. And pop it over... The perversion color. I make weird faces when I do this, so. And then what I'm going to do is take black out and pop it into my top, whatchamacallit. I know the word, but I can't think of it. You know what I mean. The top inner part. I'm terrible with this. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to do my uh, mascara. And I'm sorry if I do funny faces when I do this. But I'm using the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition. It's a sample size, but I kind of like it. Because this painting has lashes for days. I don't use fake lashes because I... As you can see, I can barely put color into my waterline. But this brings it out a lot to where I want my lashes to be. I love this stuff. It just separates your lashes and it really lengthens them a lot. I love it. I might, might have to go get the full size if they have it. So I'm just trying to separate them as best as I can and lengthen the outer parts. So it really has that fanned effect like so. Now we're going to do the lips. Lips, lips, lips. She has dark lips, so I'm going to line my lips first. Let me use my little. And don't worry, I'm going to do my blush and all that stuff too. So I'm going to be using Avon uh, Glimmer Sticks in Perfect Plum. This is a liner. Just so I can do the shape of my lips. So I did this shape of my lips. Now I'm going to apply my lip color which is the soft matte lip cream from NYX and this is in Transylvania. I'm so happy I finally have it. clean. So now let's do the blush. Let me get my blush out. I already actually did my contour a little bit. Um, I used the Kat Von D contour kit. The shade and light. It's wonderful. I love how it blends. So I'm going to be using NYX Cosmetics 
powder blush in Pinched just to warm up the cheeks. Then I'm going to use the NYX Illuminator in Enigmatic. Tops of my cheekbones. And on the edge of my nose, just kind of lift it a little bit. And then, just make sure it's blended. Okay, so that's it. That's the completed look. It's, um... I normally don't like wearing just silver on my lids because it's very, um, I don't know, I'm a, I think it washes me out a little bit, it makes me look a little sleepy, but adding that uh, darker shade of like a metallic gray, it's, it works perfectly, so it actually adds a little more definition to my eyes, so I hope you guys like this tutorial, and I hope you guys keep watching because I'm going to have May. Uh, next month, so this is, do you think it looks pretty similar? I think it does. I don't know. I like it. Because it's just straight silver on her eyes. I didn't add any definition or anything to it, but she does have a pretty good contour there if you ask me. So I added some contour and I just love her vampy lips. So, um, that's, that's pretty much it, I guess. And I did my hair just, try to do my hair just like her, so, yeah, little wispies here. Um, please let me know if you want to, uh, if you're going to recreate this, tag me, or at least let me know if I've inspired you to do stuff like this. I love doing art, and I love doing, like, beauty art. Like, it, they always have, like, special, something special about them, a different look to them. And, um... I wanted to be able to share that with you guys, my art, and having to recreate it on my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and please comment or uh, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And um, my blog is also listed on the credits of the video, so check that out. Um, and also, I'll be posting my Instagram account down there too in the links below, and also link those other tutorials uh, below as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and stay vibrant.